Um, you you may be aware that... Dri dri drive it over, especially after there's been no evidence reviewed and, uh, and the complaint hasn't even been assessed and especially hand deliver it to my door, or is it another another request that you're phoning me up for today? Yeah, it's something completely different, Brody. Is it, are, is are you, you, totally, you, is it totally legitimate, or...? Um, if I just explain why I'm calling, we, we've had a, um, a, a, a phone call from your brother. Um, who's, yes, have you, have you been in touch with him recently? Yeah, a little while ago, yeah. Yes, yeah, being, he's it, being held against his will and, uh, and abused um, by some criminals as you're probably aware. Right, we just, which brother is this? Just to confirm we got the right brother. Connor McLeod. Right, okay. Um, we've, I say, we've been, Connor's been in contact with us, he's... Uh, yeah, some people have been telling him to make several police reports um, to try and sort of add legitimacy to the fact that he's being um, very, very seriously abused um, and is in a, in a lot of danger at the moment. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, a, a, lot, a lot of it is a sort of a, a subterfuge. They've been telling him to try and report um, a Facebook page, which um, right. he's been trying to claim that Avon and Somerset Police are very interested in investigating right. his Facebook page. Um, he was involved in... Um, he's been being physically tortured and mutilated. He's been to hospital on several occasions, and he was involved in a break-in to my house. Um, just, just, just recently, which he's been uh, censored to, to not reveal details of. Um, right. And yeah, he, there's been several times where he's been very, very. He completely changed his narrative, very, very obviously recently. Um, we've got a library of telephone calls with him, um, where you can oh, right. hear that okay. he's, he's being physically abused um, and is in a great deal of pain, and is wildly changing his narrative. And um, you can also hear there's third parties in the background, um, and right. what sounds like firearms being discharged as well. These people are okay, extremely well, we'll, dangerous, um, and he's in well, a lot we'll of danger. But we'll, we'll obviously a lot of the crime try and get back in touch with him. Yeah, um, unfortunately, obviously, yeah. he's in a situation whereby if he reveals that to you, he's going to put himself into a lot of danger. And I'd appreciate it if you, right. if you, uh, if you're concerned about his welfare, I'd appreciate it if, if you kept it um, private. And well, it. I would like him to keep that as, as an anonymous report. I wouldn't yes, like yes. To share my details with him if you do. Initially. Brody, initially, I'm, I'm calling to check that everything's okay with you. I'm, a, I'm absolutely fine, yes. Um, I, right. I'm, I've, I've had a visit from some police um, yeah. on three occasions in the last week or so. It's been a little bit yeah. unusual, PC Dudley. Um, it's very, very atypical, but I had some police which, which turned up my property, um, I think it was yourself, a few, a few days ago. Um, it was me. I, I knocked on your door yesterday with a colleague, and a bit earlier on this afternoon, I knocked on your door as well. Oh, you came? That was, that was you that arrived yesterday, was it? Uh, yes, with a colleague, yeah. About, what time was it? About two o'clock, I suppose? No, it might have been even before that. Right, OK. Um, was that, was that, who, was, who was your, what was the badge number of your colleague that you were with? Was that, was that a lady? No, 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 it was um, a police sergeant I was with. Oh, right, okay, there was, there was some other police that turned up my property. Um, right. A couple of, like, I think it was a day or so before, I think it was on the 6th. Um, they, there was, there was, they probably did, because... It was, it was yeah, really, think... really, really, really strange. My, my, my closed circuit television, I don't know what happened to it, but the, the hard drive just suddenly stopped working. I don't know if the electricity oh, right. tripped or something. Um, and literally within three minutes of the, of the whole system going down, um, I got I got a knock at the door. Um, it was it was quite a, quite an unusual vehicle. It was um, it, it looked almost like a like a canine unit or a dog van. I haven't really seen it seen one like it before. All right. And as soon All right. as they uh, as soon as they arrived at the door, um, they left. I mean, like, I kind of look, I, look, I looked out the door. Um, it actually, looked like looked like the lady was carrying a firearm. It looked to be like a non-standard police issue firearm. And I don't know if that's just my naive knowledge of police equipment. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, would, um, I, I doubt very much that it was. I'd be really, um, I'd be really, really interested yeah. to show you, just show you the. Footage, actually, because um, it was just really, really strange. I don't know. I'm sure they were genuine right. police officers, and I'm sure they had nothing. Yeah, there were. Yeah. Uh, when, when I called yesterday, I wasn't the first officer to call at your door over the past few days, because, as, as I say, we just, we'd, we'd, we'd had contact from your brother, and we just needed to check that everything was okay with you. But if, if, you, if you're telling me that you're fine, um, we, can, we, can pursue things in your, we can pursue things with your brother. So um, we'll, um, we'll leave it at that for now, Brody. Thank well, you for speaking to me today. So. I, I, I'm, I'm very interested to know what it is that you're concerned about in terms of speaking to me. Well, it was a case of, uh, again, we'd had this call from your brother, and it was, it was a case of, is, is there anything that you need to make us aware of? So what did my brother say? Um, well, I, 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 I can't... Well, you don't have to give an allegorical, you know, verbatim report, but I'm just interested, what was yeah. the general gist of it? I mean, what, what were his concerns? Because he'd 
told me that he was going to he was contacting the police and that he'd been yep. a, he'd been having a discourse with Avon the Somerset police because he told yep. them that somebody had stolen my Facebook password and had been messaging to people and he seemed to he tried to lead me to believe that the police were very interested in investigating my stolen pe- Facebook password and that they were even well, going to come out come yeah. out and meet with me and I told him that this was completely absurd that the police wouldn't oh, ever right. deal with. Um, social media, and certainly wouldn't be making yeah. a trip to go and visit and investigate yeah. a crime that hasn't yeah. happened and a social media password. When yeah. I mentioned it to him that that was completely absurd and unrealistic, he then tried to claim that, the, aside from the police who, who had initially insisted on speaking to me and insisted that I must contact them, had then said that they were not going to speak to me as the victim of the crime, and then we're going were to speak through him. It was just completely fabricated um, right. claim out. Essentially, as, as, essentially so it was. He, yeah. He's then backtracked on that narrative and just basically, because I said that that was complete horseshit, because it was, what's then happened is that um, nothing nothing further has come of that. He's, he's claimed that the police have tried to contact me on more than one occasion, um, but yeah. they haven't had any contact from the police at all, which is because he never contacted the police um, and it was just an attempt to uh, try and get me, for one reason or another, to, to, to contact them uh, regarding this. Um, that letter from Chris Tapley, that was that was really unusual. Where 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 did, where did you actually get that one from? Uh, from Chris Tapley. He asked me to deliver it to you. Um, okay. Okay. And, and he asked but, you specifically. Uh, uh, so he, and he asked you to drive that over from Ashburton rather than putting it in the post. I think because there was, I know for, for a certain amount of time, Royal Mail weren't weren't delivering to your house. Were they? Was, was that the case? Or they are now? I, I, I really don't know. The Royal Mail do deliver to my house, yes, um, but only. Sorry, they, I still get post to my address, but I have to pick pick it up from the, from the sorting office. But it does still, it does still make its way over there. But I can oh, understand right. if there was if there was some confusion it, that it wouldn't be it wouldn't be sent. Yes, time. that was why it was the, it was it was it was it, essentially it was it was it was hand delivered to make sure that you got it. So, so um, it, it, it was as simple as that. Yeah, it just seemed it just seemed a little bit unusual um, because the way that um, you know when 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 you gentlemen sort of arrived. Um, it was kind of, it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a strange circumstance. I did, I did get a call from, um, I think I did speak with Mr. Tapley, um, and I think he did invite me over to Totnes because he wanted to go and discuss the complaint, which apparently is yes. rooted by a professional yeah. standards yeah. rather than being crimed, as Joe Miles had agreed with um, her investigating officer. And then coincidentally, he told me that this crime, which you prudently delivered a letter to, to help to this police professional standards complaint, which you delivered a letter to help to investigate, but apparently hadn't even been. The evidence hadn't even been reviewed for the, for you know, since sort of February 2018 or whenever I, I handed it in the weren't handed in the evidence. So that was oh, a bit, right. that was a little right. bit remiss. But in terms of um, my welfare, I'm interested to know what it was that, that Connor reported because I've had three, vi- I've had yeah, I've had set several visits from the police, um, and I'm just I'm just interested well, it, to know it, what it was. Yeah, it was. As, as, I, I think you, you you've obviously had conversations with your brother. You, I, so I, in I that respect, him since yesterday, I spoke to him yesterday. He said he was at Saint yeah. Market in Bristol. Right. So in, in in that respect, you've you've got more knowledge of what he's saying than I have because I haven't spoken to him directly. I don't. And it was just, he was just as I say, as I say, it, I I haven't spoken to him directly. Okay, but who did? You have, but 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 it, but it was who, in relation. Who, who did it, speak it, to him and when? Some of my colleagues. Which, I, I, which, on, on which, which one of your colleagues? Oh, no, Brody, I'm going to end the phone call now because I've, I've had the conversation well, I'm just, with I'm you. I'm just interested and, to know because I'm interested to know what, what he's concerned about. You know what I mean? Obviously, this is my welfare we're talking about. I do feel fine. I don't feel, you know... You've I, I, already I told fine. me what he was concerned about and that concern was in relation to Facebook and passwords and, and, uh, and all but that side of things, basically. It's exactly to believe that you sent out two, uh, a 4x4 four four dog van on two occasions and, and a Hilux vehicle to my home address, travelling five miles across the countryside with two fully clothed police officers to come and investigate my Facebook page. No, we're not investigating your Facebook page. But we were only that the three times that I've had a visit from the police has been related to Facebook allegation. It, it's, it's, been, it's been related to that, yeah. So it's as simple really as that. So I'm going to I'm gonna terminate the call because... There's nothing more sinister than that, so I'm going to terminate the call now because we're just going around. Well, are you interested okay. in investigating Facebook then? You just, you just told me it was about my welfare, and now you're saying it's Facebook that you're concerned about. You it's, it's, in, it's, in, it's, it's, it's in relation to that, Brody. So I'm, I'm just going to terminate the phone call. Now. My welfare, because if it was Facebook and you. Were-